welcome to Tunisia. Thank you. Thank you for receiving us today. You are the president of the British Council since March 2010. That's right. If you can introduce us to uh, the British Council. Well, the British Council works around the world. We're in 110 countries. Um, and what we do is use some of the assets we have in Britain. Uh, the English language, of course, we're given. The education um, system, particularly higher education and skills. And the arts and culture and creative industries. And we engage with people around the world using these as tools. Um, as a result, we hope to both provide opportunities for those people and build trust and understanding uh, between peoples, and particularly peoples and Britain. And perhaps today, when so much change around the world, so much tension, that trust is absolutely vital. Since when is it represented in Tunisia? We've been here 50 years, so um, uh, that's a long, continuous experience. Uh, the British Council itself uh, was established just before the Second World War. And um, of course, Tunisia at the moment is such an interesting uh, place because it's at the forefront of this change which is going through Middle East and North Africa. Uh, the tools uh, of the British Council that used before January 14th and after January 14th. Are they the, the same? Or well, the basic the elements are the same, but I think some points are more important than ever. First of all, the English language. Um, Tunisia has a tradition of two languages, with French being spoken by quite a lot of people. But I think uh, there's a realization um, in the government and elsewhere that to reach out and connect uh, with many parts of the world, um, uh, and in the academic world and business world, English is an essential tool. Um, secondly, um, the, I think the arts and creativity has been particularly uh, emphasized during the revolution. Um, song, theater were part of protest and therefore the way this can be developed and the way it can be spread out through the country, through children and others, is very important. Uh, another element which is perhaps a little different is the development of civil society, which was not well developed in the previous regime. Now I think there's a realization that we need a civil society, the growth of NGOs, etc. Another element, um, and perhaps most important um, alongside the others, is the use of technical skills and vocational skills. Um, a realization that a theoretical education alone is not enough, and that in order to grow enterprise, we need a wider range of skills and that is absolutely vital because coming out from the period at a time of economic strain around the world, unemployment, particularly unemployed youth, is a major challenge. And concretely, how does the British Council work in Tunisia in partnership with maybe, maybe public actors, private actors, collaboration? How does it work? Uh, yes, we, we work with all those. Um, for example, um, in the field of English, um, we both teach English ourselves, but also we have major partnerships um, with both the Ministry of Education and the, and the Ministry of Employment and, and Skills in programs to enhance the public teaching English, to work with the uh, teacher development, and the same also for the development of, of technical skills. But we also work with a wide range of social organizations, both public, uh, both um, Tunisian and um, from outside. For example, uh, we have a program called Young Arab Voices, which encourages debate, um, inf informed debate, reasoned debate between young people. And this program we're doing in collaboration with the Anna Lind Foundation, the International Foundation. For instance, today we attended the, the, the ceremony of creative development grant. What does this mean? Well, one of the things uh, I mentioned is that um, the arts are a vehicle for expression. They allow people to express difficult things, they allow you to communicate, they allow perhaps communities to, bring, to come together in new ways. And we asked young people um, how best to engage with them. And one of the things they came out with was, um, in, in a debate in this very uh, centre actually, was we want to give... Um, more help. We want. We need more help for young people to develop good ideas, to take them forward. And there are many extraordinarily good ideas um, in film, in uh, community, in observing change through this process. Um, and we so we set up a competition, and we had 30 applicants. Um, we're all with very good ideas, and we've awarded grants. 
um, to 12 of those recipients today. And, and I was very impressed by the range and, uh, and, and uh, energy of, of the people uh, seeking those grants. Okay. I heard that the British Council has many, many, many projects for the future in Tunisia. If you can give us just maybe brief ideas and projects. Well, I mentioned quite a number of the important focus areas of, of, of skills, English. Again, I think the main emphasis, if I was to give a headline, was to increase the scale enormously. The scale is, is huge, the opportunity is huge. We've been talking with ministries about, for example, a program to train teachers who can help develop um, English skills amongst unemployed graduates. And there may be employment opportunities both in Tunisia but also outside Tunisia, elsewhere in the, in the region. There is a tremendous, going to be a tremendous demand for English teaching um, elsewhere in this region. And I think we have highly trained, um, very bright Tunisian students, but given the economic situation and the demographics, there are more available than there are jobs at the moment. So one way would be to have a program which is on a big scale to do that. We'd like to expand our English teaching into other parts of Tunisia. Um, we'd um, like to greatly expand the, the entrepreneurial skills. I'd like to see some projects that perhaps can take the arts into schools and also to help develop a sort of sustainable um, ecosystem for the arts so that beyond individual artists you have the nurturing of companies who can be strong in the artistic scene in the future. Okay, and for those who are watching us uh, now, how can we uh, interact with the centre, the Bridge Council? Well, yeah, we're here. Well, I can interact very easily. So, <laughs> so, but for Tunisia, I think I I, I think that um, we have a, a centre which is well known here. Um, we have a very highly. Uh, trained and pleasant group of people on the front desk who are used to dealing with applicants to English or exams. Exams are another big part we want to develop, not just English exams, but also professional exams and maybe school exams. And so they're well trained to people coming into the centre all the time. And I think anybody with an idea can just come to the centre and say, I'd like to see the director. And the director, Eunice Crooks, would I'm sure find a way of dealing with them. Another way, of course, in this online age, is to um, uh, enter our Facebook site, very easy to get into, and um, share ideas. We're very interested in anybody's ideas, and if they've got propositions, we're interested in propositions as well. We won't necessarily be able to respond to all of them. We, we have limited um, capability and funds, but we're very eager to expand in this country because it's such an exciting time.